Hello students, welcome to the lecture series on IoT, Internet of Things. This video covers a topic on IoT data management and compute stack. Myself, Chipurpalli Raghuram, Assistant Professor, Department of Computer Science and Engineering, SRKR Engineering College, BM1. Coming to the objective of this video is study about IoT data management and compute stack. In the previous video, we have seen that simplified IoT architecture, which it is divided into two parts, that is IoT data management compute stack and core IoT fundamental stack. In the past video, we have seen about the core IoT fundamental stack. Okay. So in this video, we are going to know about the IoT data management and computation stack. So if you see in this diagram, so core IoT fundamental stack and IoT data management uh, and computation stack are divided into two parts and then the middle there is a security line. Okay. In the middle of this uh, architecture, there is a security line which provides security for this. Okay. So about the security, we are going to learn uh, in detail in uh, further chapters. Okay. So now we are going to discuss about the IoT data management and computation stack. So it's IoT data management and computation stack further divided into three layers. That is cloud layer, fork layer, edge layer. The data management and computation stack are divided into three layers as we discussed uh, so far. Okay. That is edge layer cloud layer and fork layer so we will we'll see individually what are these layers so this model also limitations have some limitations as data volumes the variety of uh, object coming uh, connected in the network and the need for more fn efficiency increases new requirements appears and these requirements tends to bring the need for data analytics closer to the IoT system. Okay, these new requirements includes the following applications. So, minimizing latency, conserving network bandwidth, increasing low efficiency. So, coming to the cloud, uh, cloud computational model. This is the traditional IoT cloud computation model in which the end Point uh, sends some data the core to the which is connected to the core network through that core network and the data is transferred to data centers or clouds. Okay, this is the traditional cloud computational network in which for past uh, ten years uh, the process is going on this in the same way. The data which is collected from the endpoints through the connection the core network connections the data is transferred to data centers or clouds. So. Next one is fog computation. Fog computation is a decentralized computation infrastructure in which data, compute, stores, and applications are located somewhere between the data source and the cloud. Okay, so that all this data will store somewhere in between these uh, devices or cloud in between. Okay, as you seen in this pillow diagram, so there is a fog layer. Okay. The fog uh, is nothing, but they, they will form some nodes, nodes like that. Okay. So the data which we have created by using the sensors and actuators, that data is uh, stored in this fog itself, not in the cloud and not in the device itself. The solution for challenging mentions in previous section is to distribute data management throughout the IoT system as close to the edge of the IP network as possible. Okay. The best known embodiment of uh, edge services in IoT is for computation. Any devices with computing storage network and connectivity can be done with fog nodes. Okay. Example includes industrial control switches, routers, embedded services, and IoT gateways. These all are fog networks. Okay. Fog computing networks. So as we seen in this uh, diagram, as you seen in this diagram, so 
and there is a top there is a cloud layer and uh, control ipv6 is a network layer and there is a communication transaction response time okay so smart objects are directly uh, not connected to the ip network in between network and then uh, objects there is a fog nodes are created okay if there is any sudden communication sudden action should be taken okay uh, there will be a latency when we are communicating with the cloud and the object. Okay, to reduce that latency, flock layers will access and decentralize layers. In flock layers itself, the computation process will be done and the response will be sent immediately to that object. Okay, for example, there is a fire alarm in your home. Okay, if the suddenly fire gods in your home, if the sensor detects a fire, okay. That data should be sent to the cloud and after sending to the cloud, the uh, response will be get some late. Okay, there will be a, a latency in between. Okay, so in the meanwhile, you will fire your house get more fire. Okay, so to avoid this, fog layers will immediately switch on the fire alarm or if you switch on some water sprinkles uh, in, your ho in your home and reduce uh, your damage. Okay, finally, egg computing. Edge computing is also sometimes called as mix computing. If, if cloud exists in the sky and fog sits near the ground, the myth is will actually sits on the ground. Okay, so just to explain with a small example. If if you think a cloud is a sky and a fog sits near the ground but not the ground, okay, but this edge will be within the ground. That means this edge computing is nothing but within the device itself okay that's the concept of myth is extended for to further point possible right into the iot endpoint device itself okay so edge computing is nothing but the computation process is done within the device itself that is things itself either whether it is a process is done at a within the sensor with the around the sensor itself or with the mobile phone itself whatever it may be so as we see in this diagram so whatever the sensors are, whatever the components are, I mean, things that we have taken here, electricity, cars, uh, sp um, stopwatches, uh, some cranes or machines, whatever it can be. The process, the computation process is done within this device itself, near to this device. Okay, nothing near to cloud or nothing near to data centers. Uh, these edges within the um, computation process is done within the um, device itself. So finally, the hierarchy of edge, fog, and computation, and cloud computing. Okay. So if you see the latency, if you see the latency in this diagram, so the low, there will be a low latency with edge layer compared to the, compared to the cloud layer. In cloud layer, the response time will be more. Coming to the edge layer, the response time will be less. Okay. In fog layer is in between with this. Okay, it is an important to stress that edge or fog computation is no way replaced with the cloud. Rather, they complete each other, compete, complement each other. And many use cases actually requires strong cooperations between layers. In the same way, the lower counters do not replace the Supreme Court of a country. Edge and fog computation layers similarly acts as a first line of defense for filtering, analysis, and otherwise management data endpoints. This saves the cloud from being queried by each and every node for every event. So, finally, summary. So, in the past videos, we have seen about the simplified IoT architecture has two parallel stacks, that is IoT data management and cloud stack, and, uh, sorry, compute stack and the core IoT fun functional stack. And these layers of core IoT function stacks are things, computational network layers, and application layers. And coming to this uh, data management and compute stack, they are edge layer, fog layer, and cloud layer. Okay, thank you. This is the end of the unit one. Thank you.